that until now. Hey guys, welcome to Comic Commentary. I'm Joe Beretta. I'm Lee Newton. I'm L.A. Morgan. Hey, we're going to start this thing off hot. Boom! What you got, Lee? Look! It's a poster! Um, Philly D took this photo, and then now we're selling it. See, this one says certain words, but the ones that you guys pick up are probably going to say different words because yeah. she's going to personalize every single one with yeah. her hand spot. It has a conveniently placed cup right in front of my cleavage. <laughs> this is an actual candid photo. It really um, is an actual candid photo. If you look up here, there has been some photoshopping done to the hair because nobody's hair is that perfect. Mm -hmm. And Hairful. if you zoom in on the <laughs> eyes here, you can see the porno that she's watching. <laughs> yeah. You see the porno on that one, but if you look closely into that one, you can see an empty space where her soul used to be. Yeah. Yay! It's really good. You should pick one up. There'll be a link in the description, and you should hang that up back I there. I will. I'm going to hang it up right now. Just Can't give her some her. hanging up music. Thanks, guys. Me! Me! Uh, hey guys, here's our new Facebook banner. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's a really cool Facebook banner photo. And if you're not the Facebook banner photo, if you're looking at that and you're like, wait a minute, that's not me. Well, how about you hop on over to our Facebook page, click the like button, and submit your own photos. I spilled also, coffee on my iPad. Also, <laughs> we said we would give you a montage <gasps> of photos <gasps> from one of the SourceFed videos <gasps> that you submitted that depict... What was it? Um, did you care about this? Yeah, a lot. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, beautiful places. Let us know and, or, well, here's the one thing. Couple let's internet name their baby. Uh, say hello. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Had a donut. You sounded like morning. Colossus of the old X Men. Uh. 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 <laughs> but what I was trying to say is uh, this couple's letting the internet name their baby. They're taking suggestions from where Reddit. Uh, and so is there is a couple in Canada. We asked you guys, what do you think her name should be? Uh, and also, wanted you to rename Joe and. <gasps> And Lee, Me. Lee, who was yeah. also in the video. Zenkai76 said Megatron Salad has my I name. did love Megatron That's, Salad. That was like one of my um, favorite ones. If you guys don't know, they also created a website called NameMyDaughter.com. Yeah. And they, they had the top 15 of first and middle names. It was pretty great. There's a little bit of Transformer influence, some yeah. internet meme stuff, and uh, Zelda was on there a lot. I think the middle name is where you either give reverence to other family members uh -huh. or you just mm -hmm. have a ball. Yeah. But not with me. My parents were like, Christopher. And I was like, why? why? And they were like, because we like the sound of it. Elliot Christopher Morgan? Mm -hmm. It does that's, sound like a writer. Mm -hmm. It sounds like a most writer. Of them are. It's the like, new novel by Elliot Christopher Morgan. Oh. Mine's Daniel. And Just I Daniel asked the same thing. Why Daniel? Your mom liked it. It's the same with Elliot. Yeah, right? <laughs> that's it. I always thought, I was like, is it because of E.T.? And they're like, no, we just like the way it sounded, which I think is a good yeah, reason. Yeah, that is a really name, good name your kid. Reason. It's the 21st century. I don't think we need to, to continue. That's how we named our kids. Names, we disagreed yeah. on everything for a, while, a long time. Very really? long time. And then eventually we're both like, I like Hayden. I like Hayden. Fine. <laughs> the freaky fanatic said, Mommy, why is my name first Twerkyolo? <laughs> <laughs> the Keegan Fish says, her first and middle name should be Winter Ghost Keeper. Oh, I love That's that. Fun. I would, I would I like love that. that. Yeah. Uh, Winter works. That sounds Winter's like a Game great. of Thrones. Because her name, the Mc McLaughlin's their last name. So Winter McLaughlin's Winter, is actually like kind beautiful. of pretty. That's beautiful, yeah. Put the Ghost Keeper in and takes beauty and turns it into awesome. Joe's new nickname should either be Raspberry Beretta or Beardetta. Uh, I like Beardetta While these could be Leodactyl or Fig. Oh, I had Fig. Fig. <laughs> Figgy was a nickname that I've had before. Really? Figgy? Yeah, Figgy. Figgy. They got that close to an actual nickname that you used to have? Yeah. Figgy? They got that wow. Figgy. Because of Newton. Yeah, but like the pudding too? Yeah, like the pudding oh, too. That's great. But yeah, I had Figgy as a nickname. <laughs> Fig For Newton. like 12 seconds. And then I ate s*** <laughs> on, in like, like, like in front of a class. Like, no, I... Yeah, like physically like ate sat a, at a table feces. and ate in front of the class. <laughs> I walked up and I remember like walking up to do a presentation and then I slipped and I just ate it hard and they were like, 
clumsily and oh, then clumsily stuck. stuck for a very long time. Yeah, that time. sucks that any adverb basically can yeah. be a nickname for yeah. you. Yeah. But you know what that means else can too? Huh. Uh, lovely. Uh, did it hurt? Did it hurt when you said it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Melissa Smith says Chalupa Batman. Yeah! Yeah, dude. So Southwest Baja. Would Timmy sure. ever let or you Baja, name? Steak Baja. Southwest Steak Baja. You know what happens? I go to Mexican restaurants sometimes because I'm like, I want some Mexican food. That sounds delicious. Mm -hmm. And I go and every time on the menu, I'm like, where's the chalupa? Because you know, they're always like, fajitas and tortillas. Yeah. And I'm always like, where's the chalupa? And I did not realize after until after I recently Wikipedia the chalupa that it was what? invented by Taco Bell. I don't what remember why. I super don't remember why. Chalupa that day. True story, and I don't know why I did it. Erica, Erica Monroe says, I Jesus, that scared me. The shite roll, out of me. Roll that moment back. Right. Erica Monroe stated, I think Lee's nickname should be Dino Baby Bad. and Joe should be Mr. Gruff and stuff. Oh! Reasons Lee looks like a cute baby dinosaur in her dino costume and Joe has a wicked gruffy, gruffy beard. beard. You know, guys, I like Mr. Gruff you're going stuff. purely on appearances. Uh, we also have personalities. All right. I am similar to a dino baby, so that actually still fits. Okay. Yeah. And are you similar to a gruff? You're Mr. not gruff. I'm like, I'm like sometimes I get a little grumpy and gruff, and then there's other stuff. So I guess it does. There's like the me. emotional, heartfelt stuff. So I guess you can loop it's that all, in. Yeah, you put it all in. Right. Mm -hmm. Trigunta said, Joe Burrito Beretta and Lee the Knee Newton. Why the knee? I'm not on board with Joe Burrito Beretta, but I am down <laughs> with the Knee Newton. I don't know why. The, the knee, knee Newton. When are you going bowling? Are you excited no, no, about them ending uh, Prohibition? I just want to vote, that's mm -hmm. all. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't know when any of this stuff was. I really want to land on the moon, so uh, yeah, well, well, maybe I'm just going to go build a pyramid. Maybe <laughs> we're going to burn these witches, okay? <laughs> <laughs> are you an internet narcissist? Description, researchers have discovered that narcissists love Twitter. Uh, duh. duh. Question, do you think narcissism is what drives Twitter, and what are the most narcissistic tweets you've ever seen? Oh, shoot! I saw this thing, it was because we're YouTubers, and I think YouTubers are a pretty narcissistic group of people because we have grown accustomed to talking to a camera. I think it's really quite sad, and I think narcissism is something that plagues our entire generation as a result of the internet, and these YouTube and Twitter is all just an offshoot of that. Problem is that narcissism, beyond being inherently selfish, can lead to other things, mm -hmm. uh, like pride. And then when you do that, when you're looking at yourself constantly and you're seeking validation, you don't help other people. And, and Hey guys, buy my poster. I'd look at it, but it's not me. <laughs> Somebody just tweeted at me and called me a narcissist. It's so funny that we're covering this, because I was going through and favoriting people who had mentioned my name in tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Preposterone said, I think 80% of Twitter seems to be narcissistic. Narcissistic. I joined and have barely seen anything really worthy of noting from people that aren't news and such. Did you check out really bad shark jokes from Joe Beretta yesterday? Yeah, that was actually really oh, solid. they were so they good. They were really solid. Twitter's my preferred social media, not for like me, but for comedy. Eduardo Hino Yosha Hino Eduardo <laughs> said, I found more narcissistic people on Instagram than on Twitter. Mm -hmm. I, it, I mean, photos are. And, yeah, photos are a rough one because it's selfies like nine times out of ten. I think social media in general lends itself to narcissism because you're not going to. It used to be that you go, you can find people that you used to know in high school, but we don't do that anymore. Yeah. Everybody's found each other. Yeah. We're all just living on the internet. Yeah. My <laughs> least favorite Facebook everything is when it's like, well, I guess I'll never do that again. Yeah. Or, the you know, like oh, the passive vague, aggressive. I hate yeah. them. There's a dog that I follow, Tuna. Tuna melts my heart. And uh, a dog that you follow. Every once in a while, you can find a photographer that does some cool stuff. Yeah, on some it. really. Yeah, you can. And there's like people that do like crazy weird stuff on there mm -hmm. too. I love that. There's also this really adorable little Down syndrome new girl uh, named Macy, and it's Macy makes my day, and she's the cutest thing I've ever seen in the world, and she makes me so she's happy. Probably not as cute as Pudge the Corgi. Well, synonymously cute. Does that work as nope. a word? I don't think so. <laughs> Patrick Vane says, I'm not an internet narcissist. My comments are just better than everyone else's. Oh, come on. <laughs> nope, you're just an internet dick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Spring Roll. Don't really care to comment. I just love the username. I love all the tweets about people complaining they didn't get a new car or a new iPhone or something like that on Christmas. I do like Especially that. Especially those who complained they didn't get the right color on their on their iPhone. Yeah, that's great. Giggle fit. Right, we're going to end seen. with this insightful one. Uh, Val Hero Vlog <laughs> says, Beaker from the Muppets is easily the most narcissistic asshole out there. It's always, me, 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 <laughs> Wait, yeah, that, we'll go with that one. That's good. Oh. And cut. 
man eats a landlord's heart over chess game description. The guy loves chess, so back off. He admitted to killing his landlord in a very gruesome manner over an even gruesomer game of chess. Question, yeah. what's the craziest thing you've ever done over a game? Oh, shit! Gotten emotionally invested in any of them. I don't do that anymore. I'm pretty detached. I bet you're yeah. lying. I bet you if we played Monopoly right yeah, now, Yeah, that's what I was just going to say. Monopoly, you Monopoly is the one. Mm -hmm. The one. Yeah. It's worst board game. Look out. Right? Aaron Fletcher said, I straight up murdered someone over Uno. F*** you in your plus four. I play Uno with <laughs> Hayden, my daughter. Oh, and she sure. gets like that. She'll be like, mm-hmm. I'm like, what are you mm-hmm about? And she'll go, and she'll put down the plus four. And then she'll go, F*** you. And you what say, do you do, what do you, you do? Say, watch how you, I say that's fair. That's yeah, fair. No, this is how you should do Uno. Uh -huh. Thank you for okay. taking my teachings. Yeah. You don't say like, no. no. No, I mean she 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 used the term here. Look, well, she is it's not using that she's right. smart. She's no, using, right. she's the using the term right. in a very good way. Yeah. It's a little antagonizing. Yes, yeah. I will admit that. Okay, yeah. but it's an appropriate moment yeah. to use yeah. the plus four. You know, but in all I, fairness, remember when we were at Magic Mountain and she punched Elliot in the groin and said "fuck you." Yeah. Again, that's a really good way. Yeah, to it's do okay it. to do it there. Yeah. Okay, so my thing, if I'd have done that when I was a kid, like I'm imagining it. I'm like, because I know, like, it's funny to think about. I, would, I think I'd be dead. I think I would have yeah. died. Yeah, yeah. My mother would have. If it actually for real Maybe fell out of soap. Hayden's mouth, I would have been. You would just lose I would have been mind. spanked to death. Would not have yeah. a butt anymore. I yeah. don't have a butt, but I would have had no butt. Yeah. It's so, it's such an, a so out there moment in reality. That yeah. That really fell out of Hayden's but mouth. Like, would you just be shocked? I'd go like this. I would go like this. I'd go. F you. I'd go. You're kicked out. <laughs> don't move. I go Heather. <laughs> then I go find Heather, and then we would shut the door, and I'd be like, I don't know what to do right now. <laughs> what she just mean? said she laid down a plus four card. We're playing Uno, and she laid down a plus four card, <laughs> and she said, "F you." What? She said what? She said, "F you." She didn't hear it from me. Heather would be like, "Ooh, a plus me. four Wait, card." Wait, no, she probably heard it from me. I make a lot of internet videos, and I let her watch all of them. This is my fault. Yeah. Do you want a divorce? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's been real. Mwah. I'm gonna take you for everything you want. <laughs> Oh, Juggling yeah. geese is a crime. Says, <laughs> I was playing Risk with my friends and it was lasting a long time. I didn't want them to skip my go because I had something big planned. Mm -hmm. So I ended up peeing while sat making no, my next no. move. No, They still don't know to this day. God, I hope that's real. I hope that's so real. I hope that's so real. Aaron, just wanted to pee to play Risk. Connor Ferrante said, I did a naked lap after the Chargers made the playoffs this year. Oh, okay. All right. How Doug, big was the lap, though? Yeah, that's what like, did just you like, go to a just like the, couch? Did you go to the local ch like track? <laughs> dun, 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 were you on a were you on a full mile track? Uh, you can't run. A naked run is really hard to do, no matter who you are. Mm -hmm. That's just a fact. Doug Denon said, "I sucker punched my best friend for knocking me back in a game of trouble. Consequently, he did the same thing when I knocked him back later. Thus, hardcore trouble was born." Hardcore oh, I'm trouble. glad there was somebody out there playing trouble. I don't think yeah. that's a game people play anymore. Yeah, but they do. Pop up yep. commercials. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Getting into trouble. Trouble. <laughs> it's like a single mother is like uh, in that commercial is like, "What? What are you doing? No, you tell me right now, <laughs> Mom. It's just trouble. We're no, into we're trouble. not doing this again. We're not doing this again. Are you starting more fun? <laughs> what is it? You're not painting anything. Are you painting I'm not something? Not bailing you out this time. Are you eating everything again? No. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching Comment Commentary. It's yeah. Been, uh, it's been real. It really has. Bye, Elliot. Yeah, I'm Elliot. coming back. Oh, he's gonna oh, go no, do he's something. Back. back there. Oh yeah, bring that thing. Up. Oh, bring look that thing at that. Forward. Hey, okay, so this weekend we got some fun stuff. Yeah, we do. You need really to pay fun attention. Stuff. As always, we're gonna have Elliot's uh, insightful smut. Fest that is ultimate pop culture. Yeah. We'll also have some bloopers, and then over on Nerd, we got a really special table talk going up. Uh, Steve and I sat with Rob Stark, Richard Rob Madden. Rob Stark. And uh, it's a really I feel like good table any talk. Any Game of Thrones like thing that we do is gonna be just George R. R. Uh, right. Steve's yeah. George. He doesn't. R. R. Uh, spoiler. It's he an doesn't actual. Make an it's the actual guy. But he's uh, he's he's charismatic. He's all good looking and stuff. And we're gonna get married. So yeah. Um. So there. And then, uh, what else? Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, down in the description, we got a P.O. box. You can look at that. For you, peoples, if you like yep. uh, the back of Mac computers. Yeah. Right here. There you go. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Go. Yeah, go pick it up. It's uh, It's a Philly D original. This frame is not. It's a little this slice of life. Is, yeah. That yep. you can put on your wall. Yay! Right next to the Joe Beretta Lumberjack and poster. And the Elliot Morgan poster that Thank you, you have. Lee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Absolutely. We should definitely do that. <laughs> Yay! So we're gonna, well, I guess we're gonna go. We're gonna start some music right now and just do like a little.
it up and slow zoom to the camera until oh, it goes okay. to black. Yeah. Why don't you do that? Okay. Get some music going. Oh, kiss from a rose. Nice. <laughs> that poster. It's the worst. Dude, and the way she constantly pimps it out is just embarrassing. Do you feel like she never shut up about it like the whole time? No! Hey! I, oh. No way!